What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of the Let's Play series. <laughs> oh, today is episode 13. I've got some plans. We've been busy in between episodes. Um, if you read the title of today's video, we're going to build a storage room. And we are going to be messing with one of the new features of the new update. And that is the shulker box. These guys are right here. We've been back and forth to the end. I've actually got myself or myself a ender chest set up the way I want. But anyway, in between episodes, we finished it, guys. We raised the rest of the walls to the castle. We got all the buildings done, roofed. And uh, nothing's built in them. I don't really have an idea of what I want to do, at least for these two outer rooms. Uh, my temporary chest room and here where I've got my skeleton horses set up, I've got ideas for. Um, these buildings here, no idea. So something will come up. They're not just going to be wasted space. Um, <coughs> excuse me. We finished it all. We got the back side here, the main, uh, the main throne room, I guess you could call it. Everything's done on this side over here. And, oops... I missed a spot. Anyway, this will probably become like a main throne room where it'll take us down into a bedroom or something. I don't know. It looks like we missed a wall here. Yep. But let's take to the sky. We'll talk a little bit about this. Um, I have yet to ever really build too much above ground that I've felt happy about. And this castle right here is amazing. I pushed myself, I worked outside, or got outside my comfort zone to build this thing. It has turned out absolutely amazing. I think it's pretty epic. It's not a huge build, but it's definitely uh, definitely something or bigger than anything I've ever built. So, this thing's awesome. <laughs> we do have a little bit of work to do left on it. We're, we're definitely not going to do that in today's episode, but... Um, these walls right here, all the ones that we've raised, they're kind of bland. Just the stone brick is kind of boring. We need to get back in there and mix it up, mix up the texture, finish that wall there. But anyway, that's not going to happen today, guys. Today we are going to build a storage room. So I, I sat and thought about this for a while. We've been using the temporary storage that I have set up. And it's somewhat organized, but we've got tons and tons and tons of chests of stone and nether rack and stuff like that. So we need something with a bulk storage. And I was thinking about what I wanted to build. And I know Iskull built something on his island. A uh, series that he did not too long ago that had a pretty cool deep storage system with ch minecart chests that would bring the items on call. And I was thinking about doing something similar to that. But then this update came out, and I figured, why not use an automatic shulker box loader? And then as we started working on getting our ender chest set up the way we wanted with all the different shulker boxes of different materials, I came to realize that, honestly, I don't need a huge storage room and a bunch of chests like we've always done in the past. So today's going to be a slightly smaller storage room. Um, we are going to sort out... I've got nine items picked out right now that I want to sort out in a bulk storage fashion. And then everything else will just be kind of combined. So instead of doing like purple -pur blocks and end stone and stuff like that, I'm actually just going to combine that stuff because I don't use it a lot and I only collect a little bit of it. So uh, your different Things that you can build out of wood, like fence posts and gates and stuff like that. I, you know, we, I don't use a lot of it. I got a few doors put away, some boats. So we'll, we'll combine all that in chests and it'll really um, lessen the amount of storage that I actually need. So the other idea I have with this system is connecting it up. So when you're down here doing any kind of work, you can walk back from this villager area and walk into the storage facility. So I'm going to trace this out. I'm going to do some digging this way. And uh, I'll come back to you guys here in just a second. Alrighty, guys. So we've got some stuff dug out. Uh, we did connect it up to the villager area. And I think it's going to work out pretty good. 
But right now, we are going to start getting rid of some of these chests at least. And collect a couple of items, and then I'm going to show you guys the layout and the plan and the size of the storage room. <coughs> Excuse me. And then we'll do some digging and get our shulker box loader set up. So, anyway, like I said, we're going to use, we're definitely going to sort out stone. That's what we have the most of. We're going to do cobblestone as well. Um, we're also going to do the other stone variants, the granite, the diorite, and the andesite. Um, when I was digging out the big hill where my iron farm used to be, uh, we ended up gra or gathering quite a bit of sandstone. So I'm going to use that as my ninth block. But I'm not 100% if that's going to stay as the, a bulk stored item. I'm thinking that we should probably do sand as it's a little bit more precious now with the concrete, which I haven't really used yet, but I do have a bunch made. So dirt, we have a ton of. Um, we're gonna do nether rack because I've got a project going on in the nether that I haven't shown yet. And we haven't really got too much progress on it. So anyway, let's see. I think this is about gonna do it. Oh, I need some. Yeah, I got some gravel on me. So we're going to also add in gravel to this. That's why I said we might change the sandstone out for sand. Um, so there it is. Those are the nine items that I want to bulk store down in my storage room. So uh, here's one staircase. It's done up. Let's go over to this other building real quick. I'll show you. We did dig this one down as well and connected the two staircases up. So... Uh, prevented these guys from going down by leaving these corners open so I can get in I need to figure out what to do with these guys they're neat but I never do anything with them so I don't know if I want to even keep them but connected it up to the uh, villager area and we've got a lot of work to do yet but anyway this is it dug out it's 11 by 11 these uh, polished granite represents where I'm gonna be putting my wood pillars and then the chests will sit in here like so. So all the way around. And normally when I build this design, I don't have three chests in the middle like this. But I did want an odd number. And I'll show you guys why here in just a second. And uh, the reason I only do two chests is it's a little easier to put uh, item frames up to show what your items are doing. So I'm probably also going to build this five chests tall. I don't like to go too much taller than that. But anyway, get some stuff moved around. There. So we're going to be putting stone here. We'll do cobblestone. And then, actually, let me put andesite here instead of the granite. Then we'll do the granite, diorite, sandstone. Then we'll put the dirt, gravel, and netherrack on this side. So these will be our sides, at least for our bulk storage, and what we're going to store in each side. <coughs> Excuse me. Goodness. <laughs> um, hold on, trying to get my inventory back together. Um, so we actually we got some digging to do here. I've got to get a plan on what I want as far as um. Uh, what I'm going to use for a wood type and then right here in the center which is the reason why I went three wide on the chests is I want to have some kind of chest hopper something I can come throw a bunch of items into and I'll be able to that stuff will be able to go into that chest and then run through a system I'm trying to count and talk <laughs> it's difficult uh, anyway I'm probably going to put a chest here. Actually, I'll probably put a trap chest in here. And then we'll have we'll we'll shove some items in here. Whatever the case may be, a bunch of stone, cobblestone, it doesn't matter. And these items will go off into an item elevator, which will take the items all the way around and be sorted out into individual shulker box loaders. And then once the shulker box is full, it'll be kicked off and pushed into a double chest where we can grab it and use it however we see fit. 
Whew. <laughs> that was a lot to say. Um, I actually messed up on the placement of my chests here. They don't sit that close to the uh, pillars. They actually sit back like so. And like I had said before, that's so we can get uh, item frames on what will be our beams. And then those item frames will have the certain items in them, obviously, so we can identify what's in each chest. Or at least, you know, I'm probably going to put up a piece of end stone to represent that's all my end items. So, I'm thinking about changing this up. I normally use uh, spruce. I was thinking about maybe doing an acacia. Or we might do something like we did in here in the last episode. Uh, with this, with this uh, beam design here. I'm not 100% sure on what I want to do yet, so this this next cutscene could take me a minute to get back. And uh, we do need to do some digging behind here, get all these chests set in. I also want to get um, kind of an idea of an item behind the chests. So it, it's a very subtle thing behind the chests, but I, I know that I can see it. And uh, we'll pick something out, and then we'll dig out behind each one of these three chests. We'll have hoppers coming into them from our shulker box loaders, so that's going to um, be kind of a big dig. We don't have the observer bo blocks, <coughs> so these are going to be a little bit bulky. But anyway, just kind of showing you... The kick the chest into here like so or the shulker box and it'll be nice and easy for us to come and grab it and walk away with whatever items we see fit so let me get to digging guys i've got a lot of work here to get this going and i'll be right back all righty guys we did quite a cut there um it took me a while to figure out what i wanted behind these chests i ended up going with nether brick uh I know I'm new to the scene, you guys don't really know a lot about me, but go watch my old base tour video, it's like the third video I did, I, I love nether brick, so, um, the magma blocks I use is a, uh, a light underneath the chest, so I think it all turned out really cool. So this right here is our shulker box loader system that automatically loads the items into the shulker box detects when the shulker box is full of items and then kicks it out of the system and puts it in our double chest. So these are very easy to build. Um, <clears throat> I'm actually going to throw all this cobblestone up. I'm working on clearing out chests right now. And the only bad thing is you can't look at what's inside the chest to know when they'll be kicked off into the system. But this comparator will get the signal. It'll hit fire this piston which will push this into the hoppers and then it'll fire this dispenser um, placing another shulker box which will have nine shulker boxes in each one of these dispensers so let me show you guys how to build this real quick they're very very simple um oh yeah <laughs> we dug into our staircase so our item elevator idea is going to have to change just a little bit but uh, this is a very compact, very easy little circuit to do here. So we're building it up like so. This way our hoppers run directly into the chests. Um, dang, I'm almost out of dispensers. I'm going to have to craft some more up. Let's see. All right. So the dispenser goes on the block right here. The block I was just standing on is where your shulker box is going to go. Um you need a normal piston here and then we need a couple comparators one facing this way one facing into this comparator and then we're going to need a chest which I have in this box plop this down right over here like so and then the rest of the wiring oh I didn't mention this before, but you need to fill this chest with um, complete stacks. What is that? 27 stacks of items that stack up to 64. So the comparator strength running into the other comparator is obviously a full chest. <clears throat> this way the shulker box signal um, 
won't be it won't take a signal from the shulker box until the system is full so anyway redstone dust up like so and around and then you need a repeater set to four ticks running into this dispenser so <coughs> I have uh, luckily a pumpkin and melon farm that produces a lot of items that I really don't need a lot of so we hardly ever use the melon so I'm actually gonna put them to use um, I did some testing in a test world and I know that a shulker box will give a, a signal strength of 15 if it is completely full and it won't give that signal strength until it is but to compact these circuits you can use that simple little trick with the chest since it has the same inventory size as the shulker box and fill it completely full of obviously a, uh, you know items that stack up to 64 and this kind of locks that comparator not really but th that's just the idea behind it it locks that comparator until that shulker box actually has that signal strength going through that comparator which allows it to pass through firing that piston and the dispenser resetting your system so um i've got quite a bit more melons and stuff to grab i've got quite a bit of uh stuff to get together for building the rest of these and then we are going to start unloading all this stuff in there so i've got a lot of work ahead of me yet but i want to show you guys this system actually in action so um, with the stone here we are probably going to eat up a ton of these shulker boxes which means i'm going to definitely have to make a uh probably three or four trips to the end to get exactly what i need so all right let's fill this thing almost all the way up that should be fine so i need my i need my hoppers <laughs> i'll grab those in a second anyway let's move my stuff out of the way here so i can build this hopper chain there we go and this torch is going to be in the way so stone will come in, come around like so. Now I've tested these in creative for or quite a bit of length, and I've never had a shulker box not get dropped into the uh, hopper like it needs to be, so hopefully this continues to work. Anyway, so we dump these in here like so. Let me get back just a little bit. So, boom. It was very, very fast. Um, I, d I don't have anything in this chest before that. But here is our shulker box full of stone. Works like a champ. So I've got, like I said, a lot of work to do. I'm going to get that all done. Start moving some chests around. And uh, I will come back to you guys in just a moment. Alrighty guys, sorry about the, the cut there. <coughs> Started going in a little bit of a coughing fit and I wasn't quite done with my clip. Anyway, as you can see, we have unloaded or moved the entirety of our chests here. Uh, we left the furnaces and that's probably what this room is going to turn out to be is some kind of uh, super smelter. So we did finish this room up. We got a little bit of a ceiling done. It's kind of bland, doesn't really draw your eye. We did sort uh, a lot of our... Uh, enchanted books into these center slots since we don't really need item frames indicating what's there and uh, I think we got a couple extra chests but we did sort out a few items that were upstairs and we did build all the rest of these so each one of these uh, shulker boxes already have some inventory in them and then a lot of the chests already have shulker boxes full which I just manually put in uh, we still got to build quite a uh, system here for a item sorter as well as an item elevator but I've put a lot of work into moving all these 
chest and stuff. Oh, I still got to go to the end and get all these shulker boxes. We got a lot of work to do, but uh, I've been at this for far too long, so we are going to call this episode complete here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you learned a little bit about shulker boxes. These are the only two I have left, plus my little backpack here. Um, I'm, I'm going to be hopefully doing an episode right after this one with doing the sorting system and such. So as always, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please leave a like if you did. I'll see you guys next time.